It's Mr. Dave, and I have again with me today my wonderful daughter, Haley. Haley, there you go. <laughs> it took me a minute. Uh, yeah, this is Haley, uh, or Science Haley. Bing, bing. Yeah, uh, so if you took classes with us, camps, all those kind of things where we worked together uh, for years and years and years, probably like 100 years? Just about. Yeah, around 100 years, uh, teaching kids science and things like that. It was always, this is Science Haley. Bing. Yeah. Uh, it was a sound effect thing, you know, one of those. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we have Mr. Dave and Science Haley. Bing. There you go. There you go. Uh, this is my awesome daughter. Uh, she has done science with me for a long time, and I always love it when uh, she has an afternoon off work, and she is like, hey, come on in and, yeah. and do, some, do some science with do me. Do some science. Yeah, so uh, I'm very lucky to have her here today. She definitely signed up because we are going to be doing... Um, <clears throat> One of my favorites. I'll just say that for now. <laughs> yeah, definitely one of her favorites uh, because she does get to <clears throat> torture dad a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, she gets to pick on me just a little bit. Uh, so I made sure I was very nice to her today. I did buy you an ice cream. You if, did. You, if you recall, I did buy her an ice cream uh, as bribery for what we're going That's to do. That's what it was for. That's <laughs> what it was for. I did, I, and I put Oreos on it. Yep, yep. There you go. All right. So uh, we are with the Ray Kitty uh, Creation Workshop. This is the Ray Kitty Science Project, uh, and we love bringing science to you guys. So uh, today we're going to be talking about hands. Yeah. We got them. We got them. We both brought hands today. Um, most people have two hands. Some people have one hand. Some people have no hands. Very few people have three hands. Yeah. Uh, but we will be talking about hands today, so it's a little bit about biology, uh, a little bit of engineering in there, uh, and a little bit of how our mind works uh, and how our body works. Okay, so we will be talking about how the body works. Now, Haley brought this weird little contraption. Uh, this is part of a cosplay that she's currently building. Uh, and so uh, this is this is a work in progress, but this is part of it, uh, and it's this little hand here. Uh, but it kind of helps show just a little bit about how those uh, tendons and things work in your hand. So uh, what happens here uh, is if you turn it over like this, so we can see there, uh, is we've got bands inside of here, okay? Uh, and so there are little bands inside of these fingers that when she bends her fingers, uh, it will cause those bands to contract or mm -hmm. to pull. Uh, and then that's what ends up pulling the ends of those fingers so, so she can have that nice little spooky hand thing. Yeah, uh, so that will be part of her cosplay for probably uh, ever and ever. She has a nice collection of, of yeah. cosplay -ery <laughs> that she does. Yeah, uh, that was a word I just made up. You can have that one. Okay, All right. thank you. <laughs> but well, <laughs> what we're going to do uh, first is we're going to talk about some of the materials we are going to use today. Now, you can go ahead and bring that over. Um, and while I'm talking about these materials, uh, what Haley, you can just kind of get yours yep. organized there. Uh, the things we're going to need today are straws. Um, we use these little skewers here. Uh, the skewers are not necessarily part of the project. They're just going to make it a little bit easier to run the rubber band through the straw, okay? Because you will be running the rubber band through the straw. And we have rubber bands. Rubber bands. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we have some pens or markers. Uh, and this is a little bit thicker paper. This is cardstock. Um, Haley does book binding, uh, and this is part of her. You do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah she does <laughs> cosplay, book binding, yeah, all kinds of 3D art. Yeah, anyway, I, 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 she's just, I want to <laughs> brag on my, my wonderful daughter there. Um, but this is just from that book binding. It's a little bit thicker than your normal paper, um, but you don't want anything too thick like your, you know, cardboard boxes or anything like that, uh, because you are going to want to be able to flex it a little bit. But uh, if you could go ahead and trace your hand on there yep. for me. Uh, and she's going to trace her hand onto this. And what you're going to be making uh, out of this part of the project uh, are some uh, hands that kind of will demonstrate how a hand works. Okay. Now, this is a fun one that you can do with little guys uh, all the way up to oh. I've had um, high schoolers doing this as far as an anatomy. Um, Haley has dissected chicken feet and she says it works the same as a chicken foot uh, because chicken feet work the same way as hands hands yeah uh, so go ahead and cut out your hand there leave a little bit for your yep. wrist so don't cut out your hand now uh, safety wise she's using scissors she's used scissors a lot a lot okay I did mention the 3d art earlier uh, that involves snipping like a lot thousands <laughs> of, anyway yeah uh, but Haley's good with scissors but if you do have younger students uh, make sure that you're just monitoring with those scissors. The only hand you want to cut out is the one on the paper. 
Okay? Yeah, you don't want that to come into your hand. So she's cutting out a hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to model the way that the hand works. Okay? Then we're going to come into our nice little electrical device here. <laughs> And Haley's going to show us how a hand works. Um, <laughs> in your hand, okay, the majority of the muscles that do the motion or movement in your hand are actually up here in your arm. Okay? Uh, the ones that are actually pulling these fingers, uh, there are tendons right, and ligaments in here. Uh, but they'll run through, and the ones that are actually activating uh, that hand are actually in your arm here for the most part. Okay? Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a model of the hand. Uh, and this is a fun way of showing students that uh, how a hand will work. Uh, and it is a fun way of just making a little motor or mechanical hand there uh, that they can use. So she cut out her hand okay, out of paper. Out of paper. Right. You did not. Let me my, see. My actual hands okay. still have both of them. Okay, good. Yeah, so she's still got her hands. Uh, so what you're going to do is you are going to fold these little fingers over just like your fingers. Okay. And then you can say, bye-bye. Yeah, there you go. Bye. Uh, we're not going to worry about the thumb. Uh, if you're doing this at home and you've got lots of time, you can get a little bit more uh, in intricate. Yeah, intricate and do that thumb. But it's a little trickier. It, I say if you are doing it with the younger guys, let's just do the fingers, okay? And you can even just do the same project with just one finger uh, to begin with, okay? Uh, so I folded it here, and I'm going to fold one more here, okay? So now, if you look at your fingers, don't look at my fingers. My fingers are all beat up, scarred up, burnt up. Yeah, my fingers are in a bad way. But if you look at Haley's beautiful model hands there, there you go. <laughs> um, you'll see that we actually, our fingers will fold once, right? They fold at the base. They fold here at this knuckle, and then we have that, that extra knuckle that bends just a little bitty bit. Now, we're not going to worry about that one. Uh, again, if you are getting more intricate, you can get really crazy with this one. Uh, but for the sake of time, we're just going to kind of show you the idea, okay? Uh, so what is it that you would do next on making your little hand here? Next, we want to cut some straws down. So just going, kind of figure out how long each of those little bends are and cut the straw to match that pattern. Okay. So do you want to put, do, we'll put a little line on there just so they can see it yeah. uh, for the TV. I'm going to put a line on these hands here uh, just so you can kind of see where those lines would be. And the lines are our fold. Okay, so you want to cut those straws a little shorter than the fold uh, because those straws need to fit in that and be able to bend. So go ahead and cut some straws for me. Yep. These do have that fun little flexi thing. That has nothing to do with what we're doing. I just like flexi straws. <laughs> They're fun. Oh, I'm watching them. There you go. So what you're going to want is you're going to want a straw for each section here, okay, uh, and then a little straw for the tip and then a straw to go down the center, okay? A straw to go right down the center of the hand. Uh, so probably for like time-wise, we may just do, eh, you could probably have time to do all of the fingers, huh? Okay. I can just kind of explain how it's gonna work while you're doing it. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do while she's doing that is if you could cut a couple of these rubber bands for me, is I'm going to take these rubber bands and we're gonna turn these rubber bands into tendons. Okay. Um, now we don't have ten of them, so they're actually going to be four dens. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No. They're they're still they're still tendons. Yeah. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these through our little uh, straws. Okay. Now I brought those sticks here. If you're having a difficult time running it through the straw, uh, you can use that uh, little. Um, you can use a pipe cleaner. You can use uh, some of these skewers, a toothpick, whatever can get that through that straw. But what you want to do is you want to run a long, a long section of straw and a short section of straw, okay? So I have two sections of straw on my rubber band here, okay? Now, a tip I've found after doing this for a long, long time with all kinds of kids uh, is that if you take your hand, the, your paper hand. The paper hand. Yeah, and turn it over and tape your rubber bands to the back of the hand first, okay? So you're taping it on what would essentially be the fingernail, okay? That's just gonna be for strength. I'll continue running these through while you're taping those yep. on. So you're gonna tape the rubber band to the back of the fingernail. Now, like I say, that's really just a tip that I found after doing this for a lot of times with students. A lot of times that rubber band will pull off of the finger, 
uh, and you don't want to you don't want it to pull off of that finger. So this you'll want to take it and tape it on the back of that hand. Okay, uh, and then you have a little section and a big section. Okay, you're gonna tape or go ahead and show them how you're taping those there. You want to little turn that section. Oh, there yeah, you go. There you go. You got the little section, and then it'll put the big one here. Yeah. So you're gonna tape it on each section of finger uh, that you're gonna want to move. Okay, because. As you can see, when you move your fingers, now there are differences in humans. Uh, some humans can bend their fingers uh, like individual segments and things like that. Uh, me, I can usually move my fingers by about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've done plenty of damage to my hands. But, uh, no, but when, when you're bending your fingers, you'll notice when you bend a finger, uh, that that finger usually kind of all bends together. Now, like I say, some people can bend a specific section of your finger at a time. Uh, that's a fun thing to try with your students uh, is to show them, hey, hey guys, can you just bend your finger like this? Or can you bend your finger uh, like this? Uh, but normally when you pull that, that tendon, uh, then, oh, look, I did like a little magic trick there. Uh, when, you pull, <laughs> when you pull on that, uh, it will bend that whole finger. So that's what's going to happen here. So we're taping it essentially here and here. And remember, we're just doing two segments instead of those three segments that are on your finger uh, for now, uh, just to kind of show you. But what we're going to see is that when you pull it here, it will actually mimic the way that a hand works, okay? Or the way that a um, chicken foot works, yep. okay? Uh, or a, an eagle talon, if you want to be more, like, majestic about it. I just but haven't dissected eagle, eagle talons. talons. No. Yeah, I don't know if that's, like, legal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let's stick to dissecting chicken feet. Um, so she's got two sections there, okay? Uh, and let's see. Let's make sure those rubber bands will be long enough. I may have to... Tie a knot. In yeah, tie a knot in those rubber bands. So I'm going to tie a little knot in these rubber bands while you're getting that one ready. Yep. And that's easier said than done. I feel a little tricky with two of us here. <laughs> Only so much amount of hand. Right. I'll wait. I'll, I'll tie that <laughs> one when you're done there. Uh, so what we've got is these tendons. As you can see, can I show real quick? Yep. Yeah. Or if you want to show real quick. The tendons are hanging off of, down, off of the fingers into the center of the hand. Okay? So that's definitely what you want. You want all those sections to go into that center of the hand. And then we're going to put a little tube here. Now, the tube that we put here normally in your hand uh, would actually be right uh, down about in this section here, okay? That carpal tunnel you've probably heard of uh, that your grandma had surgery on or, you know, whatever. Uh, but that carpal tunnel is that tunnel where those ligaments and tendons will move to keep our, to let our hand move. Um, you know, all of our fingers and all those kind of things will go through that tunnel there. So we'll see if our, if our bands are long enough. For sake of time, uh, we may just put it to where we can just get these ones here, okay. uh, and then we can do the finger thing, and that way we can get to the <coughs> button. <laughs> other part of the demonstration. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, what we'll do is we will, uh, let's go ahead and put one on there just so you can run these through that tube there. Yep. Um, and we're just going to hook up these two fingers for now. Okay, uh, so we're going to have these two so we can do kind of like a trigger finger kind of thing. Uh, and then we can get on to showing you how that works <sighs> in real life. Yes, see how, how happy she is? See, yep. that's because she knows what she's going to be doing to me uh, in a moment here. Uh, yeah, with the next part of our demonstration. So uh, just run them through this one here. Got Don't it. even worry about tying it. Just okay. run them there so we can kind of and we'll tape it up a little bit higher. Uh, so when you're doing this, um, what you'll do when you're doing it at home is make sure those rubber bands will come down to this point here that you've got a little bit of extra. Um, and when you're pulling on them, we'll see what happens here. Just tape that one down. Let's just do one finger for now, and that way we can get to these ones here. All right. But you can show them kind of what's up with all of them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how that one finger moves. That's going to be this one, this finger here. Okay. There you go. Uh, and when you pull on that, that tendon there, okay, then you can see how that will bend. Uh, and then that is that tendon up here that is actually working this finger here, okay? So your tendon is actually operating that finger even though it's not in the hand, it's way up here, okay? So this little guy here, just show him your device, your beautiful yep. device there. Yay. 
Yeah, bing, science Haley, bing, bing. Yeah, so this device here is a fun way with, with your students. You can get uh, way more intricate than this. Like I say, if you want, uh, if you've got younger students, you can use bigger straws. Uh, you can make just one finger at a time, and it, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a fun way of demonstrating what we're going to see here. Okay, so this is called a mechanical hand. So she has put together a mechanical hand that mimics this, this one that she brought here. Uh, and now, now for the other part of the show. Let's um, do it. I'm going to go ahead and take off one. <laughs> nope. Nope. Okay. So I guess I have to stick around for this part. <sighs> okay. What we have here um, is actually has nothing to do with Marcellus Wallace. I just like to open the case like this. And then we look in it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, no, what we have here uh, is what is called a human to human interface, okay? Um, now this is uh, a little bit like later version. Uh, this has been tricked out just a little bit. Um, you know, there, you may have seen a long time on TV me doing one with a thing that's kind of like this, uh, but this one here, uh, we've modified just a little bit <clears throat> to give it a little more oomph, okay? Now, what happens inside this little device here, I don't like the way she's smiling, and you'll find <laughs> out why in a minute here. Uh, what we have is this little part here. This is called a muscle spiker shield, okay? Now, this little shield here is part of an Arduino. If you do any kind of robotics or anything like that, uh, you'll recognize that. Uh, but our shield is on top of our Arduino. A muscle spiker shield uh, is going to work, in this case, like an EMG, okay? Now, you've probably heard of at the, the doctors, they have EKGs, uh, EEGs. Uh, this one will work to check the muscle, the electricity that's going through the muscle, okay? Uh, Haley is powered by electricity. Yep. I am powered by electricity. Because we're robots. Because we're robots. No. <laughs> oh, there's more. Okay, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no, but our mind will send an electrical signal. Uh, that signal will cause our muscles to contract, okay? Uh, and that signal is what we're going to be measuring on Haley. So we're going to start out. I'm going to hook her up with some wires here. Um, she is going to be on the sending side, or we will be reading uh, her electrical signals, okay? So what we have okay. here... Oh, you're gonna, you can, you want me to put them on? I'll show, I'll, I'll explain why I'm putting them on where I'm putting them on. So uh, she's gonna put her hand out just like this. Now, I'm gonna put one of these uh, little diodes or electrodes on the back of her hand, okay? That one is to make sure she is in fact not a zombie. Uh, if you saw uh, a previous episode where we tested to see if she was a zombie, uh, this is seeing if anything has changed since then. Uh, she's gonna turn her hand over. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these electrodes here, okay, and here, okay, so those all stuck, stuck okay? Yep. Okay, now the red leads she's going to put onto the electrodes on her arm, okay? The black lead she's going to put onto the back of her hand. Now, the reason that you're putting that black one on is not a matter of positive and negative. The black one is going to kind of help us eliminate those electrical signals that are happening all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this part on. Bing, okay? And we're gonna calibrate this to Haley. Now, if you look here, there's a little light tree. They call it a tree. It's just a row of lights at the bottom there. And we're gonna wanna calibrate that to Haley's My electrical hand. signal. Okay, there, there, we go. there you go. Uh, so if you look at the bottom here, there you go. When she squeezes, we get into that red. Boy, that's working well. Isn't that terrible? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when she squeezes, uh, her brain is sending an electrical signal to this. Okay. Now, uh, if, you, if we're very quiet, I'm going to put it, see if we can hear it. There's a little click. There's a little yeah. click. Right. That click uh, is actually, go ahead, let's calibrate it just a little tighter if we can. Um, go ahead and squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze. And release. There we go. Yeah. And release. Ooh. That'll be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> that clicking sound is actually a relay. The relay is hooked to this TENS unit. Okay. This TENS unit sends out an electrical shock. Okay. Now, that doesn't matter until we hook it up to me. I'm going to actually hook it up to what is called uh, that 
ulnar nerve there, if you've ever hit your funny bone, it's like, that. boom, you're like, oh, yay, that was awesome, right? Because you just love hitting your funny bone. No, no. That funny bone, <laughs> when you hit it, will send that burning sensation up into your hand, right? So we're going to hook it up to that nerve. Yay! Yay, <laughs> yay hooray! All right, uh, so I'm going to put these on me right along that ulnar nerve there, okay? Uh, and what's going to happen is when she activates that relay, that electricity <laughs> is now going to be transferred over to me and my arm and do kind of the same as when you hit your funny bone. So what's going to happen is she is actually going to control my arm with her mind. Oh, okay. I don't have it on yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I moved it way over here so she can't hit the controls. Yay! All right, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to turn on the relay. I'm going to turn on the tens. Go ahead and squeeze for me and relax. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. No, it's not turned on now. Hang on. Squeeze and relax. I just checked these batteries. Here, I've got a new battery right here. Hang on just a second. <laughs> that was really just stolen for time. All right, so uh, I'm going to change this battery out real quick. I checked them. Always bring spare batteries. Yeah, always bring spare batteries. So I'm going to change this battery out real fast here. It's an easy switch. Yeah, we checked everything right beforehand, but that's how things work sometimes. Uh, we're going to put this one on here. I better turn it off while I do that, or else she's going to make me throw this thing across the room. <laughs> All right, so get a new battery in here. Okay. So, um, yep. No, is it working now? Not yet. Hang on. Let's try another battery. Oh, I might have had the little felt thing in the way. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm, I, now I'm really just stalling for time. Oh, now that one worked. Okay, so go ahead and squeeze and relax. Squeeze. And relax, squeeze, and relax, squeeze, and relax. I'm going to try one more battery here. Hopefully this Come isn't on, the issue Dave. here. Uh, let's see. It's a lot less dramatic when, uh, when I'm not getting electrocuted. All right, one more. Here we go. And this will be the right one, right? Yep. It's always the last one you try, because if you keep trying, then... You, you missed it. Yeah, what were you thinking? All right, there you go. Squeeze and relax. Okay. And, oh, wait, our trigger is on. I'm going to calibrate this just a little bit to you. There you go. And relax. Squeeze. Oh, there we go. And relax. Squeeze. And relax. Squeeze. <laughs> and relax. Squeeze. Oh, okay. Now, what's happening here is that, <laughs> is that when she uh, kind of contracts her hand, uh, my hand, oh, now my hand here <laughs> is attached to this relay. Okay, now, <laughs> this relay, uh, a TENS unit, now you can see, now it's not, I'm not exactly following what happens in her hand, okay? Uh, it's not, <laughs> woo, okay, uh, now it's not exactly, no, 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 don't turn it up. Oh, you turned it down, nice, okay, there you go. Uh, now, it's not exactly going to follow her hand, okay? What's happening there uh, is where it is attached to me uh, is going to <laughs> send that signal there, and my hand is doing, uh, <laughs> is going to go off <laughs> here. Now, you may notice I'm stuttering. That's because she's really attacking me with that thing there. Um, what's happening to my hand here, my hand's not moving like in a natural way even, really. It kind of just does a, a weird little thing. Now, like that. <laughs> as a note, if you are doing this to a group of sixth graders, I am not in control of the, ah, the, uh, the, the <laughs> <laughs> I am not in control of what happens to my hand, okay? Uh, so sometimes you end up making, making a uh, <clears throat> gesture in front of a room full of sixth graders that you should probably not be making, and they all go, Mr. Dave, just, yeah, yeah. So it's not up to me what I do with my hand, okay? Uh, it's actually completely, she's going to turn it up. I knew yep. she was going to turn it up. They go now! Um, <laughs> so what's happening here? Uh, is I'm going to attempt to kind of fight that for a second, okay? So um, keep your hand like you, this. Yeah, you now. Whew, let me breathe for a minute. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, so what's what's happening here is? Whew, let me just. Let I'll me let just, you talk. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna breathe for a second here. Now, what's happening is <laughs> this. These little electrodes here, where they're connected to me, uh, that nerve 
is activating the muscles in my hand. So if I were to move these elsewhere, right, uh, it would activate different muscles. So it happens different ways every time you hook it up. It's like pulling this string here on the finger. It does the same kind of thing on his. Exactly. And she's doing it with her mind. So her mind is controlling my arm because if we, ha if we go through the whole thing here. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, it, yeah, she turned it off just now so I can breathe a little bit. Now, when she closes her hand, okay, uh, I'm not going to get it now because this part's off. But when she closes her hand. It sends an electric signal right here. Yep. There's a signal that tells those muscles to contract, okay? So that this device is reading that electrical signal. When we turn it on, you can see, go ahead and close your hand again. There you go, yes. <laughs> now, when, when this gets into that red there, okay, that's when I am getting the, that is when that relay is being triggered and it is causing my hand to move, okay? So now it's not, <laughs> it's not a normal movement, uh, but that, that movement is just based on, oh, there we go, uh, is just based on where this is uh, activating those muscles, okay? So, okay, so <laughs> these fingers here primarily are going to be the ones that are moving because I have it activating mainly these ones. I can, if you move it around, uh, you can activate other fingers. Uh, it really just depends. Uh, you can put this on, and you can hit it whenever. That's the fun part. Um, <laughs> but the, when, if you can put this on other muscle groups, and those... <laughs> <laughs> those, other, oh, those other muscle groups will react, uh, but it's hard to kind of get them to really react. We have put it on my bicep uh, so that she can make me do the, why are you punching yourself? Why are you <laughs> punching yourself? Uh, but uh, the, the part of that is that it is kind of difficult to uh, really make sure that lands in the, in the right spot, okay? Yep. So whew, what we're going to do now is I'm going to attempt to keep my hand open. And Haley's going to fight me. I'm going to crank it all the way up. This Let's one's go. up to 11. Okay, give me a minute to breathe. And I'm going to try to keep my hand open. I'm using my mind to keep my hand open. She's using her mind to torment me. <laughs> <laughs> She's using her mind to uh, control my hand. So I'm going to try and keep my hand open, and we're going to see what happens on the count of three. Ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> now, uh, as you can see, it's not very hard to though, close his hand. Yeah, it doesn't matter how hard she, as long as she's activating that muscle. Okay, as long as she's activating that muscle, it will. And you can see this weird thing happening with the muscle in my arm right there. Uh, it will cause mine to contract. Is when she relaxes, I can oh, have control Breathe. over my hand again. <laughs> Woo, okay, I'm turning this off. There you go. Woo, so thank you, Haley, for tormenting me. Um, and we are, uh, this is showing you a lot of fun things about the hand. You can make those models of the hand. Uh, and this device here is a little bit more just for the science part. All right, thank you, Haley, for coming with me today. Uh, we are Mr. Dave and Haley with the Ray Kitty Science Project. And don't forget, science shows you, you matter. matter.